Hi, I'm Aisha Kambi, the stylist on Style It Out. The best route to becoming a designer is going to be different for everyone, but I think it first starts with a genuine interest in fashion and that doesn't mean just looking good but how garments are created you know the history behind them the fabrics the feel where they come from i think it first starts with genuine curiosity about the craft do you know what you might be doing with these pants i think i might be making panels out of it ah. and then adding it to the dress ah, and then we'd add a uh, tutu to it maybe uh -huh. so i loved cara's initial design but she went into the closet found something new and made something even better develop a point of view and what i mean by that is develop a stance somewhere that you're coming from we can all follow trends but for me um uh, let's say aesthetic expression is best rooted in style more than fashion. Fashion to me is something different. Fashion can be that thing that sort of tells you what to wear and when and when to stop wearing it. Style is how you find yourself. It's a bit different. It comes from the inside as opposed to being imposed externally. So for me, I would say developing a point of view means to, to get to know yourself inwardly. So I wanted to add some of my cultural roots into the design. So there's one with loads of little maybe beads or pom-poms or whatever. Okay. Just so I can add some like Egyptian flavour to my outfit. Does practice make perfect when it comes to being a designer? Certainly. I think all different crafts and arts, you know, require practice. How on earth do I make something inspired by an animal without making it look like a tacky Halloween costume? I need some trousers. Nice, okay, so what are these tracksuit bottoms? Yeah. Cool. Will they remain tracksuit bottoms, do you think? No. Cool. I don't know if you need a portfolio for becoming a designer, but it's definitely very helpful. Um, I think it would be easier if you had a portfolio, even if that portfolio was just a collection of your drawings or sketches, but something where other people, where you can translate your vision to other people. Because as a designer, you might not be the person sewing the garments. You might be the person sort of communicating your vision to someone else. So you need to have some space where you can create what it is you want others to translate. Also adding the silver hood to the coat as well. Ooh, I like that. I think the best route to becoming a stylist, there's lots of different avenues that people are gonna go. For me, I assisted for a little while, not as long as a lot of people do, but I was in a fortunate position, right place at the right time. Uh, so assisting is a great route, is the route that most people take. You can get educated in this, but it's definitely not a requirement. You can style your friends, you can create sketches and show them to people who work in the industry. You can use social media to promote yourself and your styling. Um, so there's lots of different avenues, but I think learning from a professional is probably what I'd always recommend.